All right, we good? Let's go. Buddy, what happened? What's wrong? What, had a long night? Can't get up, no string? Huh, catching your breath, huh? Again, this is like our fourth run. Get up, get up. We've only run two miles. <laughs> You're hilarious. You see, with me, you know, I can always charge myself very fast, even though I had a long night. I had a lot of things on my plate, you know, from, you know, doing work, all my chores and errands. I'll share you something because this is something that you probably don't have with everything I have given you. Here, I'll show you. Go. Okay, so what I have here for you, buddy, is selenite, black tourmaline, crisk socola, which is a stone of empowerment and eases fear and anxiety. Now, I also gonna give you a smoky quartz, which removes negative energy and increases positive frequencies in your body. And of course, don't forget the red adventuring that encourages self forgiveness and confidence to boost you. Okay, now here. Dig it. We're gonna go for another round. And this time, we're gonna start, okay, at my count. All right, so, one, two, wait, come on. Hi Sagis, welcome to Cosmictology. If you're here watching the February 19 full moon, please watch the first part at Eat Read Love Inc. That's where we discuss the big part and here we go out, we go down to the ascendant or the moon signs. Capish? Okay, let's begin, Sagis. Sagis, for the Sag rising and the Sag moon, this will be happening in your eighth. Okay? Because eight, nine, ten, eleven, yep, eighth house. Rahu moon. In the eighth house, what is the eighth house? Ooh, this is the house of a cult, the house of secrecy, the house of intimate kundalini connection, also because the the eighth house is, uh, um, in a way, it's connecting with someone, okay, in intimacy way, but on a deeper connection, on a soulful level. Fifth house is wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Eighth house is like wham bam, I'll stay over the night, okay, and then they stay happily ever after. Chances are, okay, but these are the people that you have been. Okay, feeling that this keeping secrets from you, Sag, especially this happens in the eighth house. You will get paranoid. You will feel like everything is suspicious, you know, and everybody's gonna be after you because it's a shlish, a snake. Some, you know, some people never is in has never a good intention for me. And the thing is, it's just like you feel like it's lies after lies after lies after lies. Is it true? Chances are, is not. That's where you have to realize now. Like, those are the people that you could have trusted, but they're not. I mean, like, this, it's a realization of what is the true and what is not. With the people that you feel are keeping um, secrets from you. With people that you feel that are not being honest. You're going to have more realization in the 8th house. Now, as you know, also 8th house, if you are connecting with someone intimately, okay, this is also where you will realize... Um, if you do engage, uh, not on a specific day, but chances are if you do, very slim, if you will, <laughs> okay, um, you will realize the connection between you and this person has a dynamic, a deeper dynamic um, connection. Or if you have a partner already and you've been intimate with them, this is the part where you will understand, okay, so I think this is something special. This is that part where you realize that it's not about love. It's about a soulful connection with the person that you are with. Very, very tricky because you might get paranoid or you might fully trust them also. So you have to understand where you lie in the eighth house. Because eighth house, um, you, you probably will start also to explore um, the occult meaning anything secret, secret knowledge, secret texts. Oh, and if it's secret texts, if someone is lying to you also, this is that part where it's just like you see a text 
you know but it's not for you to make any action it's for you only to respond and to realize what is the truth because chances are it's really not okay so that's gonna be for the sag rising in the sag moon thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll have more of this at cosmetology bye guys